Hey guys, welcome to Arihant Online Academy. Guys, in this video we will discuss about the important concepts and MCQs with brief solutions about computer networking. Guys, this is a very important subject is for concerning of every exams of computer science because this subject specifically behaves like scoring subjects and it's very easy, interesting and very creative subjects, right? So guys, Please subscribe our YouTube channel so that you can get more and more updates from our website from channel as well and please press the bell icon button so that you can get latest notification instantly from our side. Now let's discuss about the important questions that can be asked in any kind of competitive exam which are you preparing for computer science and information technology. So the question number one is the IP address 135. Point zero point ten point twenty seven belongs to the which address class? Class A, Class B, Class C, or Class D? So, guys, for this you should have the knowledge of classes in IP address for computer networking. Basically, this IP addresses belong to Class B. Now, for your more understanding, Class A, the IP address range of Class A is from one point zero point zero point one to one twenty six. Means from one to one twenty six, you can remember like that. The range of class B is from 128 to 195 and the limit of that is of 8 bits 2 to the power 8 means 0 to 255 right so this IP address belongs in the range of class B hence option B is right for your more knowledge purpose class C belongs to the IP addresses range of 192 to 223 and class D from 224 to 239 and class E from 240 to 254 and the rest classes which we didn't include like 1.0.0.0 and 255 255.255.255.255 they are reserved right they are used for special categories so for the question number one which asks about the IP addresses belongs to which class so you should have the knowledge of this kind of range so you can make note about the range of these specific classes now the next question is an HTTP request contains how many parts? So HTTP request basically consists of three parts. If you didn't know about the basic concept then there is a client, here is a server. When client uh, uh, something puts on the browser then the HTTP request divides into three parts. The one, first is start line, the second is header and the third is body. The start line consists like that HTTP hypertext transfer protocol which consists IP address like that ok then the header will con consist the content type in the text or in numerical and the body which will contain the message which goes to the server and server provide the specific information and it will provide the information to the client so HTTP request basically consists three parts next question is which of the following uses UDP user datagram protocol as the transport protocol guys transport protocols are basically of TCP and UDP but UDP is abbreviated as user datagram protocol DNS uses the UDP as a transport protocol and the other three HTTP means hypertext transport protocol telnet and SMTP simple mail transfer uh, transfer protocol okay simple mail transfer protocol this all three uses TCP as a transport protocol but DNS uses UDP as a transport protocol Next question is which of the following ISO level is more closely related to the physical communication facilities for that this question you should know the concept of OSI layers and ISO levels right so basically for the physical communication facilities physical communication facilities data link layer okay data link layer is the more closely related to the physical communication facility in ISO level layers. The next question is the store and forward mechanism is used in. So the store and forwarding mechanism is used in message switching, right? The next question is the default subnet mask for the class B network can be. So the default subnet mask you can easily answer this by just seeing the picture because in class A, the sub default sub uh, sub uh, subnet max is 255.0.0.0 In class B, 255.255.0.0 In class C, 255.255.255.0 In class D, all are full So option B is correct answer here for the default sub subnet mask for class B network 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टू इंटरकनेक्ट टू आई पी क्लासेस वी वॉन्ट टू इंटरकनेक्ट टू आई पी क्लासेस इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल क्लासेस क्लास ए एंड क्लास सी नेटवर्क अ ब्रिज इज नीडेड अ क्लास बी नेटवर्क इज नीडेड अ राउटर इज नीडेड और नन सो द सी इज द इफेक्टिव एंड करेक्ट आंसर हियर बिकॉज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कनेक्ट और इंटरकनेक्ट एनी टू नेटवर्क इट डजेंट मैटर विच क्लास इज कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ राउटर इज नीडेड राइट telnet is a which type of based computer protocol so it's very gk type question general knowledge telnet is a text based computer protocol the next is packet are found at which layer so packets datagrams and these are the special keywords that are very useful in the computer networking when you will learn about the i is different osi layers in our upcoming videos we, we will make a video lecture for the osi layers in which we will discuss about all the seven layers their functionalities their protocols their uses and all things so guys please subscribe our youtube channel so that you can't miss that video and more our upcoming videos so that you can get much more knowledge from our website and our channel in a short time duration right and you can score very well in your exam so guys please press the bell button icon also so that you can watch our video instantly on just our upload now the question that is asked here is packets are found in which layer the options are physical layer data link layer application layer and network layer if you know the concept of osi layer basically first then network layer is the correct answer network layer consists the packets or you can also say that packets are found in network layer guys i hope you have understood all the questions which i explained clearly further if you have any kind of queries or any kind of doubt you can just comment us in our comment section we will try to solve your query as early as possible further if you want any kind of topic that you didn't understand you can comment that also so that we can make a video lecture on that and you can get understand much more knowledge from our side further guys if you have any kind of queries you can email directly us on visiting our website so i hope you have understand it clearly very well Thank you so much have a nice day jai hind jai bharat